so now see this is the nyseria meningitis picture this bacteria is a gram negative aerobic bacteria shape is the diplococcal and it is surrounded by a polysaccharide capsules and this polysaccharide structure determines the pathogens uh, zero group of this particular bacteria there are 13 zero groups are known out of which six that is a b c y x and w accounts for the majority of the epidemics worldwide. This W previously known as W135, but now it is shortened as the zero group W. Zero group A, B, and C accounts for most cases of meningococcal disease globally. And A and C are predominant in Asia and Africa, whereas B and C predominate in Europe and both North and South America. Particularly, Patient having complement deficiency, they have a higher proportion of meningococcal disease caused by a specific zero group Y and W. So the fact is that the Neisseria meningitis only infects humans. They are transmitted from person to person via aerosolized respiratory droplets or throat in secretions. 10 to 20 percent of the population carries the Neisseria meningitis bacteria in their throat at any given time. So it's time to think that the invasive meningococcal disease has to be dis discussed because of its severity. This disease is more common in winters. It affects all the ages. Most of the time, it is a sporadic. Sometimes there is an outbreak also. And obviously, due to overcrowding and many other reasons, incidences are higher in the low socioeconomic groups. And the, this disease is notoriously associated with significant morbidity and high case fatality rate. Regarding this incidence, it can vary from very rare diseases to over more than 1,000 cases per 10 lakh populations, uh, per 1 lakh populations every year. Case fatality rate ranges from 7% in high income group as high as 50% in resource poor countries. The sporadic nature of meningococcal disease emphasize the need for an effective disease prevention strategy using the vaccination. So now discuss about the epidemiology pattern of this disease. If you see the, in the global aspect, globally it is estimated that IMD affects 1.2 million people annually and resulting in more than 1.35 lakh states. The disease is endemic in Europe and North America with an overall incidence of one per one lakh population. This disorder is characterized by seasonal peaks and a small cluster of cases. Sub-Saharan Africa is considered as the meningitis belt with large periodic epidemics noted very frequently. The incidence in this region may reach up to 1,000 per one lakh population. And it is particularly high in under the five years of age. You can see the various uh, country-wide distribution like US, Canada, Argentina, European Union, everywhere. The highest mortality is seen than the children less than five years of age. Similarly, in although in five years, if you see this chart of Spain and Argentina comparison, the total death and sequelae combination 15.4% is occurring less than 60 months of age. That is the five years and more than 60 months to all up to the adult is hardly 3.3 percent similarly the fatality rate in argentina is 5.8 per one lakh population and the most important thing is that there are mortality and case fatality rate are associated with a particular strength it has been seen that the most lethal is the y strength here case fatality rate is 12 percent whereas followed by the c and p a is more, although it is more common, but case fatality is slightly lesser than the other serotonin. Now, come to the Asian continent. In Asia, the disease is often acknowledged as an outbreak, usually, which is well documented in the literature. A study suggests that the serogroup predominance are seen primarily for the subgroup A, serogroup A means, but other serogroup also have been reported. And in the right side of the, this slide, you can see the listed country that had been seen the major outbreaks of IMD in the last 60 years, including India in 85. So now come to the what is the problem and why it is so much important or under-recognized in Asian country. 
although asian scenario seems promising but there are concern about the under recognized public unrecognized you can say under recognized public health problem of video and few reasons are that one of them is that epidemiology of this disease in asia is considered very incomplete because of many factors like absence of surveillance in many countries poor bacterial detection methods and social and healthcare barriers to the disease reporting mechanism Secondly, it had also been suggested that meningococcal disease may be under-recognized and there, that's why there is a need to introduce or in providing the existing surveillance and case identification system. Other cause is that the high morbidity and mortality in some country Asian countries are still attributed to sugar epidemics and this is especially true in the developing countries like Asia in our country also. So if you talk about our Asian, what is the Indian scenario? Here, this Neisseria meningitis bacteria or infection is reported to be the third most common cause of bacterial meningitis among the children less than five years of age. And to add on, about 1.9% of all cases, regardless of the age, are attributable to the Neisseria meningitis infection. The majority of reported cases are due to zero group A, while zero group B and C are also reported to cause these infections in the rare cases. Although number of reported meningitis cases and case fatality rates have reduced considerably, there has been an increase in the number of IMD outbreaks reported throughout the India. Such outbreaks have been more commonly noted in the temperate northern region of the India. And three significant outbreaks you can see in the lowermost panel of this slide that three significant outbreaks that have been reported since 2005 in New Delhi between 2005 to 2009. And it was for the first time in the North East like Meghalaya in 2008 to 2009 and last was in Tripura in 2009 and these two in the Northeastern area of the country. So what is the challenge in our country? The burden of meningococcal disease between the outbreaks in India is difficult to quantify. We cannot quantify. There is no robust mechanism that we can quantify what is the burden. Because the India has experienced the repeated meningococcal zero group A group epidemics over the last century. The studies in non-outbreak setting performed since 1990 have detected little meningococcal disease. So asporadic cases are very few. Lack of a strong surveillance system appears to have hampered the accurate epidemiological quantification of the burden and has had a negative impact on the effort to control and manage the disease. So as a consequence, it is likely that IMD markedly underreported in India. But fortunately, in spite or fortunately, or you can say unfortunately rather, in spite of the poor surveillance system, and lack of the diagnostic challenges, the disease has shown its presence. And that's why we have to be concerned regarding its prevention and treatment. And this chart is just a uh, graphical presentation of the Indian scenario where meningococcal meningitis outbreaks were seen in every six to eight years in several states. Like right from 61, you can see the Delhi started from the North region. And in the last few years, uh, last outbreak in Delhi was 2005 to 8. And Last, as I have discussed, the Megalia and Tripura have the last outbreak, and these are the probable cases and death recorded during these outbreaks. And it is also important to tell that the IMD is a notifiable disease in India, and two notification system works in our country. One is National Health Profile Data, which was started in 2016, and second was Integrated Disease Surveillance Program by NCDC. And in 2015, the as reported that notifiable cases, total 992 cases was reported or notified, out of which the Bihar presents the highest number of P28. And also after that, some recent publication in 2016, they are also described as the total isolate was 15 and 19 respectively from Mumbai and Pune in a, a single case study and in multi-center study also involving two studies data is there, one is less than 12 years in 1991 there were 21 cases, and in 2013, uh, study on the less than two years, it was the three. So, uh, this happens. This is a, there is a significant presence of this sporadic disease in our country also. And the recent publication, very famous publication by Dr. Ashok Datta, uh, principal of Lady Harding Medical College, Delhi, and their uh, friends, they have made a comprehensive review of the meningococcal disease burden in India. 
and this says that the data so the country is susceptible to the outbreak but about the endemic disease this says that it remains unreliable because of limited disease surveillance insufficient laboratory capacity misdiagnosis and extensive antibiotic use in our country which is very common and this says that in india there is no national policy on routine meningococcal vaccination for control of the disease so in short in in indian scenario you can say it is the third most common cause of meningitis as unreported sporadic cases and in the form of sometimes outbreaks and zero group a is the most prominent predominant zero group almost all or the group was zero group a <laughs> now come to the what are the population which are at risk so various risk categories are there and population based analysis identified a number of population that are an increased risk for invasible invasive meningococcal disease like infants and children less than 5 years they are particularly susceptible similarly in the children and adolescent group between 11 to 19 is also due to uh, gathering in the hostels and college like like that others are high density or crowded population some dormitory students military dependents hajj pilgrims while the family some care giver and household contacts of the infected persons very important is the travelers to the endemic area and industrial or laboratory personnel working with the neisseria meningitis bacteria in the lab others are immunocompromised condition and those including important specific is the terminal complement deficiency then some splenic uh, problem like anatomical or functional splenia hiv patient and lab personnel who usual handles the microbial agent they are considered as the increased risk and not to forget that continuous continuously growing mobile population nowadays are very much uh, produce the risk of contact and spread also so international travelers have the potential both to acquire and to contribute to the global spread of the meningococcal disease as for example during the hajj more than 2 million pilgrims from the over 140 country <coughs> usually visit the mecca and serious communicable and non communicable hazards are faced by the pilgrim travelers in such a mass migration and that is the reason vaccination against meningococcal disease is now a must requirement for hajj or umrah pilgrims to the saudi arabia and for who the quadrivalent meningococcal vaccine containing acyw serotype is a must requirement nowadays second group is the travelers to the african meningitis pair they are advised to receive the meningococcal vaccine that covers all the four, at least four zero group and particularly during the dry season like from december to june and uh, so now come to the distribution or pattern of the occurrence so disease has two peak of incidence then it is become very important for us to identify which age group we may catch and easily especially when immunization against this disease is not a routine practice <laughs> sorry